Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on May 6th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at the space weather, world weather, and anything else affecting humanity, earthquakes, volcanoes, floods. Starting out here, looking at the sun, 193 angstroms. As you can see, we did have a solar flare that's right, on the backside of the sun coming around, eject quite a CME. As well, outgoing images here, very quiet. Otherwise, for space weather, very quiet. Quick look here at the amazing action coming in. Luckily, not Earth facing. Do have an equatorial sunspot trying to develop there. And in the last frame, you can see it did shoot out something. It's noticeable on Lasco 2 and 3, more than it is here on the multi-spectrum. Have to give, give credit to Solar Dynamics Observatory and all researchers and developers. Looking here at another light, there is no coronal holes or anything being thwarted our, rate, our way right now, so geomagnetic activity remains low. And it is showing in the real-time solar wind here as we are down to 311 kilometers per second right now. That's pretty low for both the last 24 hours. It's been very low. Looking here, Lasco 2 and 3, you can see in the final images here on Lasco 2, small CME being shot, shot out there, bottom left-hand side there. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10 after all that pretty active frequencies over the last few days. Looking at a quality of 15, and an amplitude power of 10. Let's have a look at earthquakes for the last 24 hours. And just recently here, San Antonio de la Cobros, Argentina, 4.2, 230 kilometer depth. We've been waiting for these earthquakes, the deep ones, and they're coming now. And another one had happened just before the Argentina quake, 4.5 here at Fiji region. 574 kilometer depth so yeah that's the deepest probably in the last five days in the deep tectonic regions so starting out here 4.9 papua new guinea that was another most recent one 5.3 here loyalty islands 10 kilometer depth activity continues through the kermadex 4.6 here, 416 kilometer depth, and that was earlier this morning. 4.9 there, uh, Indonesia, that's close to Luatolo volcano, as well the Philippines, seeing 4.6, and further south there, 5.1. Up into Japan, one, re one lonely earthquake to report here, 4.3. Alaska, seismicity has decreased over the last 24 hours. But across the North American plate, we're seeing increased seismicity through central United States. Kansas today, 3.1 and a 3.8 ringing off in the middle of Kansas. As well, the West Coast here, California, 
2.7, 2.5 there, Little Lake, Sears Valley, California, as well, a dollar point, California. Now, that's a big lake that I had put out a video about a month ago, or not even a month ago, about a week ago, I mean. And we're starting to see. Well, actually, I guess it was over a month ago because this is the last 30 days for earthquakes. So definitely seeing increased seismicity through Northern California and as well central regions, the United States. Not too much to report at Yellowstone. But these Kansas quakes, they're coming back. Makes you wonder what's happening. As well, looking here, Earthquakes Canada, a 3.1 was reported. How did I miss this on May 5th? Or sorry, May 1st. And that's just very close to Calgary, about, uh, what, 50 kilometers, not even? Looking at the earthquake map through Canada, a lot of minor rumbles through saint Louis Chon. And as well, Juan de Fuca down into Port Alice and Tofino, minor rumbles. Central America, 4.6 here in Mexico, Acapulco. And then, yeah, Puerto Rico is a rocking today, watching the earthquake swarm come back. It's been a while, but it's back. 4.6 there, Chile, that was before I reported the other one that just came in. 3.2 as well here in Bosnia. 4.5 here in Kazakhstan. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, looking at about 280 earthquakes the last 24 hours, deepest being just recently 568 kilometer depth, and the largest being the 5.7 uh, yesterday in uh, Bandasi. Looking here, the last seven days for earthquakes, deep quakes coming back to West Ring of Fire. Central regions, North American plate, seeing increased seismicity, but still quiet through the Cascades, considering. Let's have a look here. The Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes being updated. Also going to point out here, all of the intense weather that has been going through southeastern and central United States. Quite a few flood warnings are popping up now. We're looking at about 13, 14 flood warnings across four states right now. Right around the Mississippi, of course, and as well the Gulf states. Seeing increased moisture over the last little while. And you're going to see the storms come back. Stay tuned. Five-day forecast coming up quick. As well, quite a system coming through Calgary today. A low pressure center developed over Calgary. High pressure ridge is pretty dominant. Big low pressure system off the coast there, bringing a lot of rain. Stormy conditions northward, but as well strong winds here in Alberta. Winter storms in the Yukon. Still pretty cool temperatures northward. Looking at the most recent volcanoes, Sabancaya, Fuego, Sufri, as well, Raventador, Dokono, Era in Japan, Swiss to Najima in Japan, Simaru, Cinnabung, Nevada to Chilean. And that's about a dozen as well, Fuego. Yeah, Fuego, Sange. It's about a dozen volcanoes being updated today. Having a look here, five day forecast brought to you by Meteorworth. And of course, Mike with Morning Dew. Starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, we did have quite a windstorm coming through today. We had sustained winds of at least 40 kilometers an hour and gusting to about 75 in some places. I'm sure southward saw even stronger winds. So, culprit, we've got an intertropical convergence, big low and a big high just sitting and merging off the coast. But at least that's going to bring in some moisture much needed Pacific moisture coming in through the mountains, through BC, and then maybe through the foothills. 
looking at a pretty dry pocket through the foothills here as that system comes through. Who knows what we'll see here. Hopefully it'll be rain. We might even see some thunderstorms. That's exciting. But cold temperatures behind here, minus two after the big system goes through. High pressure ridge moving southward from Northwest Territories. Going to keep things cool through the eastern prairies and Ontario. But I think that could be the last of the cool temperatures. We'll have to see and stay tuned to Morning Dew. Very good chance of extreme weather here coming back to the United States, central regions, Gulf states, and of course, southeastern coastal regions. Big system coming out of Colorado this week. As well, low pressure center going to be affecting parts of Newfoundland. Long range forecast here. You could still see some snow with that system. Big high pressure ridge over the Atlantic. No major weather systems developing southward anyway. We do have quite a big system here as we've been talking about the last couple of days. Another big low pressure system heading into parts of Ireland and the United Kingdom. And it looks like another low pressure system is going to follow the same track. Lots of moisture coming in, being funneled down as that center of low gets stuck over Ireland. Lots of moisture coming up through Central Europe. Could see some pretty intense weather there. Eastern Europe. Things are warming up across the country. No major weather systems to talk about in the West Indies. East Indies, you're going to see rain popping up through parts of India as well. Sri Lanka, monsoon rain season getting ready to kick up. No major weather systems over the Indian Ocean forecasted, but a lot of moisture there if you look. A lot of moisture forecasted across the equator, really, all across the world. Overlooking Indonesia, Philippines, no major weather systems. We could see a big one here developing in the long-range forecast as things start to heat up along the equator again. As well, a big low-pressure system here coming out of northern China, Korea. Other than that, no tropical storms, no hurricanes to talk about. Big high-pressure blockade here, still keeping things dry all across the west coast of the United States. Overlooking South America, no major weather systems developing. Daily evaporation rains continue. Could see heavier amounts through Colombia, parts of Panama. As well, low pressure system that will be heading into parts of southern Argentina in the long range forecast. Overlooking Africa. Cool temperatures will persist here for the next couple of days as that low pressure system that came out of the Antarctic is affecting them and will be racing the coastline northward. Should be an interesting time along the coast of Cape Town, South Africa. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out quite a beast of a system in the southern hemisphere versus the northern, which is still pretty cold considering. Thanks everybody for watching and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Click all so that you don't miss an update or a live stream. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the